Hi there, my name's Sarah, and this tutorial will cover some ways to use the new Align and Distribute tools that were added in Clip Studio Paint version 2.0. I've been working on this three-point perspective illustration featuring a set of Skyrise buildings, and I'll show you how to easily add windows. To start, I'll make a new file at 1200 pixels wide by 2400 pixels tall. The new file will have a raster layer by default, but I'm going to delete that and create a new vector layer instead by clicking here. Vectors are great for line art because you can resize them without having to worry about losing image quality. Let me know if you'd like to see me do a video diving deeper into the difference between raster and vector graphics. Go to the Figure tool and select the Rectangle subtool. Since my scene is a high bird's eye view, I don't need detailed windows, so simple rectangles will do. I'll use a brush size of 4 and draw one small rectangle to represent a window. Go to the Operation tool and make sure the Object subtool is selected. Select the vector object. Note that you need to click directly on the line. You'll know the vector object is selected when it has both a blue surrounding box and an orange selection on the rectangle itself. Go to the Edit menu and select Copy. Then go to the Edit menu and select Paste. This will duplicate the window on this same vector layer over top of the original one. Using the Object subtool, drag the newly created window to the side. Don't worry about keeping it lined up, we'll get to that in a second. When dragging, it's a good idea to position your cursor near the blue bounding box until you see this icon appear. Then you can click and move the object. If you try to click and drag the vector object directly, you might accidentally drag one of the control points which will change your shape instead. Keep pasting more windows until you've got a line of at least 10, however many windows you want across your building's face. Now select them all. It's possible to do this by holding down the Shift key and clicking each one, but there's an easier way. In the Object tool, click the drop-down Operation of Transparent Part. Turn on the checkbox that says Select Area by Dragging, and make sure the option underneath is set to Objects in this layer. Now if you click and drag, you can select all of the windows at once. Go to the Align and Distribute palette. If you don't see it on the screen, click the Window menu, and select Align Distribute from the list. To get all the windows on the same horizontal line, click Align Vertical Centers. To space them an equal distance from each other, click Distribute Horizontal Spacing. What if you want a different spacing between them? By default, they'll be spaced evenly between the ones on each end. So if you want a wider spacing, move one out and then distribute. Or if you want a narrower spacing, move them further in. There are several additional options for how to distribute objects. The official Clip Studio tutorial gives a great overview of all of them, link in the description below. I'd like to center this set of objects on the canvas. If I try to click Align Horizontal Centers with all of them selected, they just jumble up on top of each other. I'll undo that. You can, however, use the Align tool on the whole layer, and it treats everything inside the layer as one object. Click the layer to select it, and then click Align Horizontal Centers. Next, I want to repeat this row of windows vertically. Right-click the layer and select Duplicate Layer. Repeat this until there's a whole bunch of layers, at least 20. Skyscrapers are tall. I'm doing 30 rows for this one. Now I've got all these layers stacked on top of each other. This time, I want to distribute them up and down the whole canvas. Change the Alignment Base to Canvas. Select all of the layers, and click Distribute Vertical Spacing. Finally, with all of the layers still selected, right-click on any of them and choose Merge Selected Layers. They will all merge into a single vector layer. Give the layer a name. With the layer selected, go to the Edit menu and select Copy. Then open your art. Select the layer just below where you want the windows, and click Edit, Paste. It looks small, but because it's a vector layer, it can be resized however big or small I need it. Go to Edit, Transform, and choose Free Transform. Move the Windows layer to the building. 
Drag the corners of the bounding box to cover the side of the building, following the existing lines of perspective. Make sure Change Vector Width is checked so that the lines become smaller when far away. Click OK to confirm. Because it's still a vector layer, I can also use the Object tool to pick out a few windows to delete as they become less visible in the distance. The windows on skyscrapers come in all sizes and configurations. Be sure to look at plenty of reference photos to get ideas. I'll go ahead and create windows for the remainder of the main skyscrapers in my scene using the exact same technique. Remember that buildings further away will have less detail. Here's how the line art turned out. That's it for this video, I hope you found it helpful! Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see me talk about in Clip Studio Paint. As always, tag me at Ms. Red Nebula on Twitter and Instagram and show me any art you created using this tip. See you soon! A big thank you to all of my patrons, with a special shout out to Novatier patron Joe C. Phipps. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help support future content like this.